When the fuck did... Wait, when did 22nd double and... So... Oh, there's no artillery. <laughs> yeah, there's no arty. Uh, by That's the way... What, yeah. what, what the fuck? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Yeah. Round two for the uh, B&G. Uh, checking it out again. It's been a while since I watched one of their events. Figured I'd check them out. And um, I do have a guest with me. Actually, two guests. Um, although they can jump out whenever they feel like it, because, you know... <laughs> I'll jump out of this goddamn window. You keep talking to me like that. Uh huh. Well, you know, it's you know, <laughs> at some point, some point, I'll be you know released from this mortal coil. But not to this day. Today we watch the event. But it's uh, Mr. Hood from the Forty Second. It is I. Uh, hello, Forty Second, Mr. Captain Hood. Uh, poor... Here to shit on my European friends. And a poor guy who somehow just wandered in here thinking we were talking about HDC because that's the Discord I'm in because I'm too lazy to set up another Discord. Mr. Tank from the Eighty <laughs> Third. Hello, hello. All right, and this is the blue and gray event. They are live at Garland the Stand, 139 on the player count, 67 on the defending CSA, 72 on the Union. Union team has Lieutenant Lewis leading the 42nd. We've got with Lucian leading the IB. Two core under Ice Star. And ninth core under Uncle Dragon. And see, CSA team has CQB under Musket Guy, DB under Neeson. Gene leading the HL. And first Delaware under Burger. Looks like Issel is also in there from the MWB doing some arty stuff. Uh, I some really nice screenshots, actually. Oh, is that a trench whistle? Jesus Christ. Let's go. They, they, they get into it, man. <laughs> so we got a little bit thicker line here for the 42nd this time. Um, what are you expecting to see? I mean, this is the second Union attack that's going on. What do you think... Uh, going to see from Lieutenant Lewis here. Uh, now that he's got a lot more ass behind him, a lot more aggression and a lot more staying power, I imagine. Uh, you know, before half the artillery crew was on, uh, or half the numbers were artillery crew, so he had about nine guys to work with. You're basically a skirmish line now. He's got about, what's that, roughly, roughly 15, 15 to 20 ish guys. You can, you can do some attacks on your own. You can take some ground hold it as an attack. Um, assuming they're all, you know, they're keeping them tight. He might skirmish anyways, because again, Everyone's kind of small, um, so it might work out. Scrims might work out a little better. They got the arty going right now here. Like the, uh, the rebels are shooting at something. It's like the CSA is in a bit of a fish hook, from what it looks like here, to steal a uh, Gettysburg reference. Since why yeah, not? well, I'll tell you what, CQB is uh, looking prime to get murdered. I'll be honest; they're all by themselves in that left flank. Union should take that left. That's a common strategy I see. Uh, is taking that rock as Union. That's a good place I, I, to base. I, I think the Union has an excellent opportunity to do so. Uh, as long as they can lay the correct information and count the flags, that's going to be the key. If they get in the right information about who's where, there's the goddamn rebels have dudes in that middle rock. I don't know what H2. Hurrah, what is it? Oh, it's uh, HD's guys. A bunch of them just in a rock out here in the field. A bad place. They can't help anybody. They got there in the field with windsill around them. They're fucking. They can't see shit. If a melee happens, they won't be there to help. Uh, let's see. Does Lewis see the opportunity? He's where he's rolling left. Or looking left, anyways. Nice gout flag. Uh, he hasn't moved out yet. He's got two core with him. He's got ninth core with him. That's a lot of combat power there. They got the ass. It's got swinging around. That's a kind of doing some shooting here. So tank the 83rd. What kind of unit is the 83rd? What do y'all do? He's dead at the keyboard. Apparently they do nothing. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not fair. Uh -oh, he's, uh, he's unconscious. Anybody, <laughs> uh, oh, there he is. I was, I was muted. My bad. <laughs> I, was um, like, I was like, oh man. We, we kill, and we kill, and uh, we kill some more. Yeah. Uh, enemy, correct? Like. The, the, the enemy, some, ah! some, sometimes, sometimes friendly. When Kotal was around, there's a lot of friendlies. But you what? Know, <laughs> oh, mostly enemy nowadays. They've gotten better. At, mostly, they've gotten better at that since I left the age. Not left, but since I've gone to their Perkins. retired and boys? started the uh, broadcasting. Ba -na -na, ba -na -na. Speaking of uh, strange moves, to uh, the detriment of your own career. I don't know where the fellow is going. He's gone. He's gone. He's long oh, gone. He's, 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 he's gone. He's going down the right flank deep. Um, you know that could work. And maybe he's trying to like get a get a kind of like a, a secure position, and maybe the union will swing back around and link up with him. But if he stays split, he's gonna get eat. 
Oh, you, they're you, gonna hit him. You talking Lucian down here? Lucian is rolling right side woods, deep shit down by that cornfield. You see him out there? That's a lot of dudes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. That's a good chunk of their Pretty team. Right. Um, now, again, they've blown their cover. HC has spotted them. They should cross this field immediately if they want to take a foothold here. Uh, and the rest of your team should swing around to follow them because uh, if the rebels are, again, paying any amount of attention, they're just going to run their need Lucian. Um, HC knows they're there. They're engaged by a skirmish unit. Someone should be saying something to somebody about it. There is steam chip, but I don't see any movements against him yet. Nope. CQB got reinforced by DB. Uh, so now it's more of a fair fight to take that position. I think they blew that opportunity, the uh, Union team, to, to take that position early on. There are reinforcements going to stop Lucian. They have a flag. It's going to be a... It's going to be a volley fight, I think, or whoever keep the flag in the most. Lucian has the manpower, the numbers on these guys. Well, they got one with that volley, so, I mean, you know. In terms of pacing, not great. I think he might be stuck in a stalemate here for a bit. Uh, I mean, it's just HD. It, Lucian does have the manpower to just charge him off if he wants to. Let's see if I think... Do I think he wants people. I think he wants some... I think they're both... I think he's trying to draw them. Oh, you think, it's, you think he's trying to distract for the main body to uh, hit the rocks? Uh, yeah, and I, I think the main body is going to swing around the minute that uh, one unit leaves and they see it. I think you might be right. I would hope so. I thought they had a better opportunity, uh, better opportunity earlier on, but they also might not have realized how many people were actually there. Again, we can see everything, and they can't see dog shit in those woods. Unless no, really it's, looking. it's very tough to see in the woods. Looks like Lucian's moving out here a little bit. Yeah, where's his flag? Does he not have a flag? He had a flag. I he, thought so too. He sent oh, it back and then crossed the way to keep he it. He sent safe. it back to. I I, I think that's a good move to be honest with you. It's not horrible. Um, you're kind of, you're giving up your forward advantage here. This charge is going to go horribly for you. Uh, I um, your dad. because you have no way to I reinforce that. If he again, if he had those three guys. Oh. Uh, Actually, that math is three guys remaining. If he had those guys over there spawning the flag up, he would he would won that melee. Uh, you be doing math, I though. think he's a little too reserved with that flag. Yeah, right there. I don't know, man. Math and war rights. I don't know. They do be yeah, enough. Uh, this these cannons are shit. Have you seen an impact? If any substance? So well, I haven't really been watching this uh, this side over here, so I'm gonna keep an eye a little bit more on it. Man, I'll tell you what, you has not fucking moved from this position. Well, I'm a little concerned at 33 minutes, you know, they haven't really done too much morale damage at all. Well, Cowtel, this, uh, you know, plays directly into our theories about the five-second spawn timer and the uh, the uh, increase of inline deaths due to gunfire and how it becomes necessary to charge often uh, with your whole team to make a difference. And it's it's bearing fruit here. No one, this is not going to, you're not no, getting out of battle already. No, 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 this, this rate. there's no evidence of that whatsoever. And, and, and by no evidence, crazy. by simply asserting so, that makes sense. I have on good authority uh, a guy who makes four rights videos and is a, a, a likes stats like a creep. Uh, it's made some pretty good math, compelling uh, otherwise. Like a creep. But, uh, you know, you know, he's one of those guys. He likes numbers and cheats. One of those strange people. You know, you know. Have you heard of him? I don't. I, I never heard of those folks. Uh, our <laughs> well, I don't. I've never seen that before. Uh, that artillery round landed about three feet in front of his <laughs> for his barrel in the dirt. I... Oh, it did! <laughs> I, I, don't know how you, I don't know how you've... It hit a, it hit a wall. Go. No, no, it they went over the wall. They it's landed... an invisible wall. They fired that basically into the dot in the goddamn dirt. I'm, that's a very interesting... Uh... <laughs> I've never seen that before, I'll be honest. Let's see if yeah. they can adjust. So what do you think? Seen... Uh, would you call it an orbital strike right now, Tank? What do you think? 100%. But I just, I just God got bless get that Spectre gunship up in the air. Well, Lay on him heavy. God bless your nice soul. little eagle strike. Nice little strip. For the union. I guess off. Lucian's uh, forward right of the right man flank man. is over. Uh, three men. Three men with a difference. Quick, uh, two men and a lady, I should say. I think that was Lizzie down there who was yeah. one of the. It looks like we got a full charge going on now, though. Charge, oh. Charge. Which way is it headed? To the corner? That's crazy. Uh, and half of it's not help. Uh, I knew two core again is late and not coming. That's not good, two core. Get in there, boys. 
Come on, Viva the France. Viva the Emperor for Napoleon. Get in there. Oh, now they're going. It's uh, too late. Union is going to get wiped to a man. I, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna survive this. I don't know why that CSA unit's not helping. The CQB's not gonna help either. I don't know. Maybe it'll equal out. But uh, CSA has a good position here. Union came in half their team, got murdered, and now two two corners to be the I uh, guess the last guys to die. I would go take they those waited. rocks at least. Well, nah, those rocks have lose. been untouched. And the rocks CQ have not seen any. CQB has not even been touched. And, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, CQB should get here and finish this off. I, I don't think Union's going to win long term, but they're trading tickets. That CQ oh, there they go. I, I, I can't let they can hear me. I, I feel it now. Can I tell the power? Yeah, man. I think uh, I think two core screwed the pooch on that one. Uh, that's a, that was a, almost a full 20 seconds of delay. Yeah, yeah, and this seems to be the uh, last gasp a little bit. They didn't really get too much of a ticket advantage off of it. A little bit, but... Yeah. No, actually, they, they lost it. Union is losing it right now because of the mop-up. They've lost it. They, they've now actually pretty firmly behind. So yeah, now all the flags <sighs> are gone. You lost all your flags. That's five minutes. You can no longer now. You can't even do the firefight anymore because you will lose. You want to have a flag. They have they have respawns. You don't. You'll lose an extended firefight. So now all you can effectively do with this, you know, flag change again, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, is that uh, fucking nothing. You you can do just about nothing, quite frankly. You go anywhere. You can get shot at. You're just gonna lose. You're gonna get wiped and lose more tickets. So now you gotta wait the five minutes or try to make a play for your flags. CQB reoccupied the old rocks, and it looks like the CSA is going to maintain that defense. What do you think of the uh, e either one of you guys, if you have any thoughts on the way the CSA is playing so far? Uh, thank you, anything? Well, they're playing like they should be, if you're CSA on this map. They're doing exactly you know what you need to do. They're holding yep. down those rocks. If they didn't have those rocks, it'd be a different story. They could put, Union be, would be able to push a little more and lay down a little more fire. But they're doing exactly what they need to be doing. Yeah, I would say so. They're holding. They got they got most of force in that out on that corner. They've made a, a minor barricade with cannons and caissons, and they got a small group on the right flank. So you either got to deal with the group on the right flank, which they should have done earlier and should do again now. Hey, or when they go to point, it's like it happens, they're gonna get hit in the ass by uh, by a unit. I mean, they're really I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty fucked right now. They're gonna they're they're out of tickets, so or, uh, flags rather. So you're not you're not gonna be able to make any attack at all. Um, when it comes to melees, man, like that, it's not a bad idea to get the flags about 20 yards back just to watch. And if it looks bad, you turn around. That way, if you die, you're dying closer to spawn. You might be able to recover the flag without being contested, but uh, they died on point in formation. I heard uh, something about the French. Uh, I don't speak a lot of French, but I'm Charge A. I don't know about that. I don't think they're going to do a charge. <laughs> uh, they might be thinking about one, if nothing else, to recover the flags. Maybe that might be the intent of just, you know, get in, get the flags, and pull back out. Yeah, the only French I know is fries, man. Uh, Ninth Corps doing a dank flank on the far right flank, trying to do IB's shtick. I mean, the only guy with the flag, I guess. I guess it works out. They kept their flags safe. Dragon did do that, indeed. We got a lot of uh, units that you see in the uh, the other events, don't we? Uh, yeah, almost every. I, the only people I don't recognize is two core, um, the French two core. I don't. We don't associate with them very much. Uh, and I've seen put anybody else uh, occasionally. Uh, well, and besides DB, the Russians, I've never met them before. But uh, you know, it's funny. Um, we're at um, the this would be about three years ago, considered a very full server. Back when there was 150 people, or about the exact same threshold. Uh, 140, yeah, it's a little low, but uh, you know, it's it's low for now. But back in the day, you know, it was 75 you 75, man. You kind of standard for these kind of maps. Yeah, I mean, these maps were designed for that side, which is interesting to think about. They haven't really expanded them since they had a 300 player server. They just get a little more congested. No, I was covering a uh, 300 man server this Wednesday on SSL, and that was for Shenandoah, and that was. Uh, that was interesting. Kendor Street? Yep. That was. God. Yeah, it's not ideal. Sorry about that, Mr. Tank. Remember, there's to the northwest. We gotta be careful here. 
Yeah, so what events are uh, 83rd involved in at the moment? Uh, HDC, we have uh, Friday night battles, and we have Sunday. Ah, so pretty much, in, 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 you know, all three days of the weekend, basically? Yeah, Southern Aggression's on Friday. The HGC is our Saturday. We used to do UEC, but not anymore. And then uh, War of Secession was on Sunday. We try to, try to keep busy. Try to stay active. Good mix. Oh, we got HL charging out 9th Corps here. Which... Huh? Oh. Yep, yeah, 9th Corps got swallowed. They got, you yeah. know, didn't have the ass for it. But I think Tank's... Uh... Description was right. Is now here we go a charge. They, uh, you know, it might work out. They did. They went for the small target. They pulled HL out. This could all work out if they all go. But who's bring up the rear? Well, it's uh. Oh, two cores going in and forty second one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Go take those. Take those rocks. It's the first step. You would prefer they all go at the exact same time, but this is okay. There's not a lot of people. They killed CQB. Now they should keep ro Oh, no, they didn't kill him. They ran him out. They should keep rolling right now to point. They should roll up DB and see. There they go. Uh, and sit on point. Well, this, this is going to work out well for them. They can yeah. kill these guys and consolidate before HL gets back. They got DB down. Can they grab CQB? This is what they had to do. Get your loads on that line. They gotta listen to you, Tank. They don't listen. You know, they listen. You know, good things happen. Don't stop, boys. Get it. Come on. Let's go, Frenchies. Let's get in there, boys. Come on. Oh, now we got. Now we got. Do we have a counter charge? Nope, not yet. Uh, ATL's gonna get. ATL's gonna smack Ducor in the mouth. They don't get over there with the rest of the homies. It's like CQB's, uh, CQB's dead. CQB has been wiped. ATL's gonna run down these these that those poor two cores throw out if they're not someplace else soon. ATL's got the numbers on them by a lot, like two to one. Oh, right, there's some reinforcements coming up now. Here comes uh, your boys. Way just in the nick of time. Move the quality stuff. Uh, two cores. Oh, IB's going in for the charge. They bypassed. Uh, they picked up two core and they're running in. Uh, no, they didn't. Two cores. Two core has fallen back in the middle of this charge. IB went for a melee. Two cores falling back. Forty second is carrying the attack forward. Looks like HL is now getting mixed in here against 42nd. I don't think they're gonna win this. Two cores should not have left. I think 42nd. Yep, 42nd gonna get swallowed up. They're gonna swallow 42nd. They're gonna swallow IB. And two cores gonna watch. Guys, boys, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to be too harsh on you, but you gotta, you, you gotta fight the team. You just they're listening. The they're listening. They're moving. It's too little, too late, man. They're going. It's way too late. You got the glory being the last guys to die. It didn't make any difference. <laughs> Act, actually, they're not even going. They no, just no, they, to they, I, I swear they started moving. I thought they heard you. Oh, brother. Well, at this point, <laughs> I, I think it's it's a foregone conclusion. It's better just hanging out now on that rock. I don't know if you would disagree with that. I don't see any point charging it now. Uh, right now? Uh, right now, they have the numbers. No, they could still do it. I think that this uh, there's a good force of CSA coming out of Maine. They could go right now to point. And wipe those guys out. Now I wouldn't stay there, but you could, but you know, you could kill somebody. Yeah, I suppose. Try to hit them as they come up, but uh... it's like the DB is moving up here, Mr. Nissen. CQB's coming up again. Get your bayonets on. Now the danger here is that the the, the Union might get swallowed on this rock if they don't cover their left foot, which they have done. IB's coming to cover that flank, and not only that, they're going to counter charge team, punch him in the mouth. I like that aggression. I like it. Do you? I do. They're, it worked out. Like they swallowed up CQB again. That's And the flag's down. Now, you, oh, now the CSA are counter charging, but it's not, it's not going to be. That's a... I, I don't know what's going on. They like, abandoned it, I guess. Gina called that off and... They're trying to get some flank fire into him. Link right. Keep up the fire, boys. Keep up the fire. No silence, boys. No silence. Uh, are the two core guys going to charge each other? I do it. They're extending. The unit has no unified front right now. You can swallow up. Uh, yeah, there it goes. DB's going in as well. Looks like a general melee. ATL's got a nice uh, little defense position there with that log, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, although on the left flank, it looks like our good friend's IB might have. 
Been laid. Nope, they won it. They held off DB. Last three men. What a bunch of heroes. Uni has every opportunity to go to point right now when cap this game out and turn this shit around. They look at the tickets they just caught back up on. They but someone's running it out. I I can't believe it. Two core. Please. Guys, you have the advantage. Why would you fall back? All your friends are up there fighting. Go with your countrymen, your compatriots. Help them out. Mother of God. Uh, uh, looks like, we're also in a weird uh, place. Looks like HL and alive. HD are now occupying that fort that they built. Oh, I can get up here. Yep. Oh, fuck. Well, um, <laughs> another squandered opportunity by the Union. I can't, I, I hate to say it. They, they keep winning these advantages and they keep pissing them away almost immediately. They had the gumption for it. Well, so I, now, now that they have this side, though, what do you, what do you think would be the best avenue of attack for the Union? How would you kind of... Kind of direct it. Uh, it's only French left. Um, well, I mean, the left side attack is, is better than the right side. You can push them um, out well, of the, their stone wall, doesn't matter as much if you take the left side force in force. And you kind of are in between them and any spawnways from main, uh, somewhat. If you can, whoa, that's a big team kill by HL and that cannon, I guess. I don't know what that was about. Uh, but yeah, you take the force side, you push them into the stone wall, they either gotta hop over in the field side, which you can put a small force down and to the ass, um, but it's better than taking the right side because you at least have cover yeah. in the forest. So, like so this, this angle that. Lucian's taking right now, you think? Uh, absolutely, that is I, that is their correct move. You could sweep up all the guys at main. You can go down to the alum on the bottom side and have them kind of turn around. You could you could hit them from a lot of places. Uh, and again, anyone out in the woods is going to get flanked. They're going to probably hop the stone wall, but then it's a cover on cover fight, and you can kind of infiltrate. You can you can L shape them pretty easily by coming down that road or back on the uh, the field side, and they're kind of this. Caught on both sides of a stone wall with no real cover. Um, the, the problem is, if Lucian went by himself, I want to back him up. He did not got the numbers for it. That's a little rough. Now, artillery's getting zoned in over here. They uh, they caught some of the Frenchmen with that. They did indeed. I, I, I don't know why. The... That was our friends from the strange... MWB there. Yeah, I, I, it's a strange situation. The French went the fight, and then no one went with them. So I don't know what's going on. I see you getting screaming close right to flank. Taking losses, but uh, not quite there yet at 19 minutes. Whoa! Hey, the Union put a cannon up. Oh my God. Pointing at pain. You see that? Six of has got uh, the Frenchman of a cannon pointing right at that Alamo. They can have a pretty okay line of sight, yes. honestly. I on it. TV. And that might make a difference if they can nail it out. Ninth Corps is doing a suicide charge. They got a flag though, but they're gonna get swallowed almost immediately. But that was an interesting choice. They got two flags down right now. That's not a bad shout. Now, if the rest of the Union team could capitalize on that, they'd uh, they'd make a big difference right here. But I don't think it worked out like that. Ninth well, we do on. have that uh, forest side flank going on right now. We'll see if it has enough weight to it, though. Pull it back, boys. Pull it back. It's, it's about speed, man. It's a, it's about speed. Ninth Corps did you a bit of a favor. They knocked on two flags and died, but that's a good amount of time. The f the Frenchmen are definitely animated. I'll, tell, I'll give you that. Oh, they get into it, man. Keep it they up, get boys. into it. Uh, Forest oh, is making an attack ish, pushing up the light, main light road up, here. Boys, Maybe try to put the rubs on L shake, give them, give them more targets to that. The rest of the Union seems to be trying to push up the left flank. IB leading. Yeah, looks like uh, IB is going to the White House. I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with that. I think, um, that's a, I think that's a little bit too wide, to be honest with you. Yeah, you're going a little too wide. You're going to split up. They're going to pick somebody. Uh, 40 seconds like the most viable target to get murdered right now because they're real close to the enemy with no backup. But uh, the Rebels might... Maybe they're giving too many... Uh, they're getting too many orders. Too much stuff going on. Now, uh, IB and uh, Tukor are on the low side. They do have the... They can push up the stone wall and flank these guys. If IB was brave enough to get in that... Across that fence, but uh, uh, right now the uh, 42nd and the rest of the boys. Looks like IB just hopped it, like as he was saying it. Hey, dude, he can he can read my thoughts. That's why. Good position here. Now, now, if, now, now, if the the Union up here, 42nd can get on the flank up the take the actual like Alamo side and get in front of these guys. They could they could squeeze them real easy. Looks like Lucian's moving up now. Does he have the backup though? The the Frenchmen uh, need to come with him. Whatever happens. 
The counterattack from H, 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 oh, and the Forbes Knights going in. This is this is timed well, actually. HL went down south. Forbes Knights went in. I'm not sure if Forbes Knights has the numbers for it, all the all, um, but they can they can make something happen. Yeah, we can tie down Support, a unit for a little bit. Yeah. It's the animated Frenchman, as you like to call them. It's like 40 seconds done. Husky King, why are you playing that music, man? You're gonna, gonna have to mute you. Unfortunate. Man, I'll tell you what, uh, Iron Brigade held, held, uh, for a very long time. My, my props to them, they held that, they held, they wiped out HL, looks like, and somebody else. So now they're pulling Forward back second. trying to get their flag out of there. Yeah, for a second, died in the attack. Uh, oh, looks like a pretty solid track. Ninth Corps is moving up. Ninth Corps is back from Maine with, uh, good chunk of dudes. They're right in the flank of that CQB push, uh, if, if Oh, I'd be doing a flag, I don't think, though. They do have a flag. They'll be back up in, you know, two two shakes. It's going to come down to the wire, honestly. Uh, they are doing damage. Uh, Unit's taking the brunt of it, but the tickets are, are low enough. If they get one good push on, on, on point, they can put them in the break in the cap before they know what's up. It could take, uh, you know, one one, one good attack. Could, couldn't win this up for the Unit. They've got to coordinate it a little better than they have been overall. Oh, yeah. So, Tank, if you had 83rd in this match right now as the Union, where would you like to, uh, at this point, put him, and what would you like to have him be doing? Honestly. They got him. They got his, oh, his command post been overrun. Uh, assume, assume, assume he's gone. You're in command now. I'd probably either be on the fence on or on, on, on the rocks there. Mm. Hoping that the main group would uh, push up, get him in a little pincer. Great fucking job. Just kind of draw their fire and then be in a spot to uh, kind of counterattack. Basically, yeah. They either gotta they either gotta retreat and go back, or they gotta hop up over the wall. Either way, good shots. Ooh, ninth court's got wiped for nothing. Lost your flag for nothing. Uh, yeah, I saw HL caught them out. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how it could have happened. You had the whole field to see the bastards. You guys, you know, there's no point dying for no reason. Now you've delayed the attack by another however long time you get from, from Maine back to your flag, probably three minutes. And they got to get on it. Uh, they got to they get on it quick. Uh, well, you know, 13 hey. minutes remaining. It's You could slow it down a little bit if they want, I would say. I want to see where this um, may, I mean, I guess it could, but I mean, you're not going to get them out of that. You're not going to get them to the last stand, I don't think, unless the charge happens at this rate. Are this cannon uh, that two core is set up, I mean, I'll be honest, perfectly uh, down that road can silence a lot of these uh, either cannons or get these big groups down. Here comes the shot right down the road. It's canister, and it was low. Yeah, I saw it. It didn't do too much damage. No, that's interesting. That's an interesting choice. I mean, you know, it keeps them off the road. Maybe they, they'll keep them off the road. But if you can do that, send someone out down the road to take it. You know, the corner right now. Look at them. I mean, look at the corner. It's open. You can walk in right up there and then have a stone wall to face the guys in the woods. You got uh, another push down south the by the by the house. By uh, I assume this is IB. It is. Yeah, it's HL versus IB down here. I think yeah, IB's winning. The eight tails flags yeah, in the fucking horrible the place, wall, and IB's laying it in them. But uh, IB's gonna get flanked from the main by uh, GPB oh, coming to main right at their butt. Oh, but sure. that means, look at that. Look at look at the commitment here. Now here comes DB. You could take point right this second. If the Union was up and engaged the enemy right now, they could roll the point and win this game potentially right this second. The entire Rebel team is run down south to only Lucian. Yes, you're. Right. I think you're right. Actually, a flood by Union now would win it. Uh, but are they paying any attention? But, you know, if I'm not getting Lewis. shot at, that means I'm winning. That's, you know, and that's the mentality. Lewis should be able to tell. Hopefully. Whoa! What a shot. You're laying on the Zazbar artillery. Someone should be telling something. I mean, you, you should be able to tell there's nothing going on here. You should, I mean, you can see it pretty clearly. They're still going. IB still got the entire team down and, here. And, I don't, they, and, see to the credit of the IB, they are, if this is a distraction for us, as Tank, you said earlier, they are distracting a lot. 
Yeah, they, they did a great job. DB's heading back up the road. I think the Union pissed it away. Uh, 40 second doing a flank here. I'm not going to lie to you. I, not the great, not not a good time for it. They shouldn't run right to the fucking corner. Two cores going in now. Uh, yeah, man. I don't think it's going to work out. I think they I think they blew it. It's going to come down to whether or not they can charge DB at right now and then make up the tickets. Here comes Knife going in the corner. It's going to be a suicide attack, honestly, um, but it might buy him enough time. Here comes the charge by 4 second two core. I think they got it. IB's moved to cut off the guys in, uh, down the road. I think they got it. I think they got it. Oh, There's the breaking. I think uh, IB's in a great place. It's a good attack. Coordinated well. Right at the end right there. IB, champions of this game, I think. Heroes. Really pulling their weight around here. I'll get my props to them. And now they're in a blocking position, too. Um... CSA has, has the flag up, though, so they gotta, you got to get on that. Who the hell is back here? There are way too many two-core dudes not on point right now. Do you get that flag up there? There, Get that flag up there right now. Oh, you got to make this count. Oh, there's a lot of guys hanging out back here. Yeah, they got to. It is insane. Two-core. Come on, boys. That's 13 man back there. Get the flag up there. You're, you're, I swear you're they here. 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 here come Cheeky Beast counterattack. They got a lot of men behind them. I, if, if this fails, if this goes back the other way, it'll be heartbreaking. Uh, there's a lot of team kills going on right now in this melee. Oh, are they? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Two course on station. I think they got it. HL's coming in now. I don't think they got the gum sheet for it. I don't think they got it. I think Union actually did secure it at the end here. And there it is. Well done by uh, Iron Brigade and Mr. Lucian. I think they really, uh, they really pulled their weight on this one. I think they were the MVPs. Uh, I'd say so. Any any final thoughts, Mr. Tank? And uh, where again can people find you in the 83rd? Oh, 80, 83rd uh, PVI.org, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I thought the match was very good. They did exactly what they needed to do. It came down to the wire of them doing it, but they did do it. And they secured the victory. Huzzah. Yeah. And then any closeouts, Mr. Hood? Uh, I want uh, more aggression. Get in there. Get in their teeth. Come on, boys. Up that tempo. About it. Up Overall, I think it was pretty, you know, it was all right. Uh, I think uh, the end really came together for Union. I think there's a lot of hesitation, though, early on, man. I think a lot of wasted time. Could have forced his opportunities a lot earlier. Been a better place. But, you know, I guess it all worked out in the end. They don't ask Cal, they ask Cal many. Yep. I asked Cal, though, to be honest. So I lied about that. Well, thanks again, both my guest commentators. And Tank kind of got roped in unexpectedly. So, but really good commentary. That's how we do it on here, baby. We press gang. Yeah. That's how you get new that's, anchors. That's how I. That's how I got Hood in here as well. I was like, "Hey, come on, show up. Come on, show guys." Yeah, he has my family. I, you know, for the revolution. But anyway, um, that's it for me. I will. Um, yeah, I'll be covering TSA tonight. So I hope to see y'all for that one. This is uh, Coattail signing off. Hit smack that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit ring that bell.